Hi, welcome to Yoga Any Day. As you can see, we're in a new environment today. We're going to be doing some yoga practice for the April 11th new moon in Aries. We have a very strong Aries energy right now. We've got five planets there. And we're going to be channeling this energy, also working with some grounding to help us deal with how much energy it is. There's a lot of fire and air in the chart, so we'll be grounding a bit and we'll have a nice strong practice. So we can begin sitting, find whatever position is most comfortable for you, and just closing the eyes and feeling your breath, letting it come and go. So for this new moon, we have Mercury, Chiron, Venus in Aries along with the sun and the moon. The new moon and Aries are both energies of a new beginning. Mercury in Aries is knowing ourselves. Venus in Aries is loving ourselves, and Chiron in Aries is healing our wounds. You can bow your head. We're going to set the intention for this moon cycle and astrological year as to know our strength. Feel the breath. Know your strength. And looking up gently, reaching up through the chin, receiving support for this intention from above. and gently letting the head come back to the center. And we'll open the arms out to the sides with the palms facing up and reach the head over towards one side, stretching between your ear and your shoulder. When we bend the head to the side, we're expressing our flexibility in our point of view. Flexibility is part of strength. Not staying rigid, staying open to what comes. and lifting the head up and over to the other side, stretching gently from your ear to your shoulder. And gently lifting the head back up to the center. And we'll do a little flow, bringing the palms together in front of the chest, reaching all the way up, open, back, and bowing forward, rolling back up, and the palms again together and up, out, back, behind you, and bowing forward. Follow your own pace. If this is too quick, just slow it down. Expressing our openness, and bowing with humility. And coming back to sitting straight. And we'll interlace the fingers, pressing out and turning the hands open, alternating these two positions. As you open the hands, reach through the thumbs keeping the shoulders down and open the whole time. Gently warming up the wrists, shoulders, and hands. Again, follow your own pace. Find your own rhythm. And reaching the arms up overhead, getting a nice long stretch up, and we'll open the legs out to the sides. Feeling very long and strong. and gently opening the arms out on a nice open angle. This position is reminding me of Mars and Jupiter, which are both in supportive aspects to the new moon. 
We're receiving support from the sides. Feeling centered and strong, feeling your breath. And gently down with the arms and bringing the legs in. And we'll hold on to the knees and rock back gently. Really connecting with the breath in the stomach. Feeling the stomach muscles squeeze in towards your lower back on the exhales. You may notice I have a bottle of water on one side and that's actually a stone fire pit on my other side in the background. Have water next to you, drink water as needed. As I said, there's a lot of fire energy with all of these Aries planets and this big new beginning. So drinking water can help cool those flames if needed. So letting go of the knees and rocking back a little bit further, feeling the lower back reaching into the floor, using the stomach to press down, finding strength in the core and groundedness through the lower back. Slow and steady, really connecting with the breath. Reaching the shoulders down, away from the ears. Reaching long and rolling down to the ground gently and we'll just let the knees fall open. Still grounding down through the lower back using the stomach in a pelvic tilt. And sliding the legs straight down and the arms straight up, reaching long in both directions. Long and strong. Circling the arms around, bending one knee in and curling your forehead up towards that knee. Reaching the arms forward, keeping the shoulders down. Steady breath, strong stomach. Stretching back up straight and long. And then the arms are going to come out and around as the other knee bends up and the forehead curls up towards the knee. Don't bring the knee all the way in, even if you can. Leave it roughly over your pelvis so you have somewhere to go when you're reaching up and forward with the forehead. Squeezing the stomach, long, strong, steady breath. and stretching down along the floor again, reaching long through the arms and legs. And we'll bend the knees and lift the hips up. I have my arms straight open to the sides. You can do that if that's comfortable or bring them down by your sides if that's more comfortable for you. Feeling the strength of the legs and butt and the openness of the chest. And gently rolling back down and giving the knees a hug in. Just apply some pressure with the arms so we're giving a good pull on the knees. If you have any pinching in your hips, just open the knees a little out to the sides. Try to keep squeezing with the stomach. Keep pressing the stomach down, pushing the lower back down into the ground for strength and grounding. And we'll reach the arms straight and out to the sides. You can rock around here a little bit, keeping things loose again. Flexibility is part of strength. We can't be rigid. We have to stay open to what's happening. So a little rock, a little sway. You can make little circles on the pelvis. Taking it easy, staying fluid. And we can give the legs a good stretch out and down towards the floor. 
steady, strong breath. And reaching the whole body long and along the floor again, arms up and then curling up. And we're gonna curl up to sitting very slowly, one breath at a time. Patient and strong. Keep squeezing the stomach, keep pressing the lower back back with the stomach muscles. Even as you're curling up, the lower back is still pushing back. Shoulders stay down as the arms reach forward. Coming up one breath at a time, nice and slowly. Rotating on the pelvis as you're sitting up, reaching the sit bones back behind you to stretch the backs of the legs and lifting up very tall through the spine. Put a lot of focus on the breath. I'm working here with some breath retention. So at the top of my inhale, when I'm full of air, I'm holding the air in, suspending it. You can try that if you want. And then reaching the arms straight up. And we'll open the arms out to the sides, straight out from the shoulders. Again, the shoulders are pushing down as the arms are reaching long. Feel that big, strong inhale. And slowly down with the hands right by your hips. Pressing the hands down, trying to straighten the arms and keep the shoulders down away from your ears. Keep squeezing the legs, keep the breath very strong and long. And just loosening it up, you can stretch the ankles. I'm gonna take a water break here. You can have some water if you want. If you're drinking water, feel the water as it comes in. Really maximize that sensation with your awareness. And we'll come around for a tabletop Hands back behind you, feet nice and flat, and lifting up through the hips. If you can, try to maintain your neck to be in the same line as the rest of your spine so you'll be looking straight up. If that puts too much strain on your neck, you can let your head fall all the way back or you can tuck your chin to your chest. and gently coming all the way down with the hips. And we'll come forward with the hands and back with the feet for downward dog. Squeeze the legs, reach back and down with the heels, reach up and back with the sit bones, press long and strong through your arms. Stay very steady with the breath. And we can lower and lift the heels a little bit, just releasing some of the tension from holding the pose for a while. 
stretching through the calves. And you can circle the ankles if that's comfortable for you. I'm reaching my heels straight up and then open out to the sides and down towards the floor. And we'll come forward into plank. Keep pressing the shoulders down away from your ears. Everything is long and strong. I keep saying that. As we're holding these poses, we need to find our length so we don't feel compression. Bending the elbows slowly, try to hover above the ground. Steady breath. And we'll come all the way down and press up for upward dog. Press the shoulders down away from the ears. Press the arms long. Use your breath to be long and strong. Focus the mind in the breath for strength. And we'll lift the hips up and all the way back, letting your head fall down, keeping the arms straight. And lifting up onto the hands and knees. Bending one knee in and curling your head to meet it underneath you. Squeezing the stomach, finding that strength in the stomach again. Switching sides. And back to the first side again. Strong stomach. Steady breath. Back to the second side one more time. Dropping that knee down, tucking the toes under and arching. You can still squeeze the stomach here even when you arch. Spreading the shoulders nice and wide. And we're going to come into a side plank with the knee down, straightening one leg all the way and reaching that same side arm long along your ear. Get a good long stretch through that whole top side. It really feels good. And when you send the breath into the waist, you're stretching the ribs and waist with the inhale. Squeeze the stomach on the exhale here too. Coming down and over to the other side. Big stretch along that top side, using the breath to open up through the waist and still squeezing on the exhale. And gently coming back down, back into downward dog, step one foot up, turn to the side, both legs straight, 
bringing the hands to the hips and then folding over, reaching the crown of your head towards the floor. Finding this position as an expression of humility again. Humility is part of strength. Interlacing the hands behind your back, reaching the arms over your head, stretching the shoulders. You can have the heels of the hands away from each other or together. You can also point the pointer fingers together, just different variations. Being easy with the shoulder joints, nice and soft. And reaching the hands back towards your lower back and then down to the floor. You can have the palms on the ground or you can come down onto the forearms if you can reach the floor with the forearms. Try looking at the ground, spreading the shoulders wide. The legs are squeezing the whole time. And you can open up through the chest, looking forward, again, spreading the shoulders nice and wide. And we'll walk the hands over to one foot and twist open, reaching one hand up towards the ceiling. If your balance feels steady, you can look up. Nice rotation through the lower back. Try not to let your hips shift over towards the foot that your hand is next to too much. Try to keep the pelvis pretty squared off if you can. And squeezing the legs as you lift all the way up, standing up, arms reaching wide open. And we'll fold over to the other side, bringing your hand across and down to the other foot. And the other hand reaches up to the ceiling. Again, try to keep the pelvis somewhat centered and feel that nice rotation in the lower back. And lifting all the way up very tall and strong and open again. You can spread the hands, spread the fingers. Grounding down through the legs, big open chest. And we can turn the palms so they're facing up, rolling the shoulder joints open, opening the chest even more and gently lowering the arms. Bowing the head a little bit, again finding that humility. It's important to balance the strong sense of self in Aries with humility. And we'll bring the feet all the way back together. Right underneath your hips. And pressing down through the legs, reaching up through the crown of the head, feeling your length all the way from the heels to the head. And we'll reach the arms long up over your head, pressing down through the legs, grounding and stretching all the way up as high as you can towards the ceiling or the sky if you're outside. And we'll bend the knees and come over for a prayer twist, bringing the elbow to the outside of the opposite knee and twisting up and open.
and straightening the legs and reaching all the way up long again. Feel that nice length all the way from the heels to the hands. And twisting around to the other side, bringing the elbow to the outside of the opposite knee. Again, remembering that flexibility is part of strength. And straightening the legs again and reaching the arms all the way up. Very long. And we'll come doing it again. This time, if you want, you can bring the hand all the way down to the ground on the outside of your bottom foot and reach the other arm straight up towards the ceiling or sky. We've got Mars in Gemini right now, and Mars is the ruler of this new moon. Mars in Gemini can be doing things twice. That's why I'm repeating twice a lot of the poses today. Straightening up again, very long. And coming over to the other side. Again, you can leave the elbow on the outside of the knee or you can straighten the arm all the way down and the other arm all the way up. And standing up very long again, reaching up with the palms and then bringing the hands down in front of your chest. Feeling the breath, letting the breath come and go. And we'll come all the way down to sitting. We're going to cross one ankle up onto the other knee and the other ankle goes under the other knee. If you feel any strain in your knees, don't, right? You've got to change your positioning so that this doesn't strain your knees. You can try having the bottom foot more in towards the hip or just wiggle around basically until you don't feel anything in the knee joint itself. Breathing all the way down into the hip stretch. Relaxing through the shoulders. And we'll switch the legs. Ankle on the knee, ankle under the knee. Breathe down into the hips. Soften through the shoulders. And gently undoing the legs. And we'll come all the way around so that you're lying flat on your belly. And we're going to take a little rest here, turning your head to one side, letting go completely. Sometimes we think of a warrior or the Aries energy as rigid but we can know ourselves better than that. When we really know our strength, we know our capability to adjust to the circumstances. You can turn your head to the other side. Sometimes we have to take a rest in order to be able to keep going. That's really knowing ourselves. And when we're able to adapt to the circumstances, we function better. So we're a better warrior. Sometimes we have to let go completely. Sometimes we have to look at things from a new perspective. This is also loving ourselves. It's giving ourselves a break when we need it. And we'll bring the hands under the shoulders to press up 
and come around so we're sitting and lying back down. We're going to do some wheel because life is full of challenges. We have to be prepared for that too. If you can't do wheel, that's fine. You can do a bridge. If you can do a wheel, go ahead and press up. I'm going to hold this for kind of a while, so feel free to come down, take a little break, roll out the wrists, and then try it again. That's the Mars and Gemini doing things twice. So I'll leave it up to you if you feel like you want to have a break and then come back into it, go ahead. Feeling your strength here through the arms and the legs pressing into the ground. Try to come down slowly. And leaving the knees bent, we'll ground down through the pelvis again, pressing the stomach through the lower back into the ground. Tucking the pelvis, relaxing everything else. And we'll come around into a twist, just kind of casually letting one leg float over. And I'd like to connect to the feeling of water in this pose. Try to feel maybe like there's a stream running through your side that you're twisting all the way through that shoulder, out through the hand. A nice, cool, clear stream. Really letting the breath relax and we'll switch sides. We've been doing a lot of long, strong, focused breathing. For this one, try to just let the, let the breath flow, right? Feel that water energy like little ripples. gently coming out of it. So we'll come up to sitting. You can do that however you want. Give the knees a nice little squeeze in. Rock around a little bit. And rolling up. And we'll lift the legs for boat pose. Keep pressing the shoulders down away from the ears. I'll give a couple of variations here. So one would be squeezing the chest and knees together and then letting them come apart. Another is having the legs all the way straight. And another would be what they call full boat pose, which is basically kind of hovering above the ground looking up. Whichever one you're doing, feel the strength of the stomach. This is our long, steady breath, focusing the mind in the breath. You can try lifting if you're in full boat back up lifting the legs and chest and we'll bend the knees and drop the feet down and we'll take a casual twist here just releasing any tension staying long but very soft through the spine and the other side
and we'll come back to the first side. I'm going to show a fun variation here where I'm holding my foot and the leg is straight and then I'm lifting the back arm straight to the back. You can try this or just do the first one again. Long and soft. And gently coming out of that one and around to the other side. If you want, you can try my variation, holding the outside of the foot and straightening the leg, and then lifting the back arm straight back. And gently coming out of it. And we'll open the knees, hold just above the ankles and give a nice pull with the arms to help yourself stretch up and you can reach the knees open and down towards the floor. And we'll open the feet a little wider and put them flat on the ground and again hold just above the ankles and pull with the arms, helping the chest stay very open, reaching the sit bones back behind you, and we'll bow forward and down. If you can, wiggle the arms underneath the knees, straight out with the palms down. If you can, then you can try straightening the knees. Wherever you're at with this one, let's really take this as the open chest and the humility. This is a tricky pose. If you want, you can try straightening the legs, lifting the heels off of the ground. If at any point it feels like it's too much for your neck, you can tuck your chin and bring your forehead to the ground. Another variation is with the heels down. You can wrap the arms around and clasp the hands at your lower back. Again, wherever you're at, like, let's take this as an opportunity to embrace our humility. This is healing our wounds, right? Is accepting our limitations and our vulnerability. Chiron in Aries. So we're slowly gonna come out of it, keeping the legs wide open, bringing the arms straight out. You can squeeze the legs more open if you want, a little wider. Working with straightening the arms, reaching through the fingers and the chest down into the ground. Again, you can tuck your chin and bring the forehead to the ground if that's more comfortable for your neck, it's up to you. Gently, gently working your way deeper into the pose. And then to come out of it, I do a big straight lift off. That's kind of tricky. If your lower back feels like, hey, don't I don't want to do that, then don't do that. You can just roll up, use your hands for support. Anyway, coming up to sitting, bringing the palms in front of the chest for a moment, feeling the breath again. Nice and easy, coming out of it, bending the knees and coming to whatever sitting position is most comfortable for you. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the practice. As always, your support of the channel is very appreciated in your likes, comments, and subscribes. I'll be back again for more yoga and astrology. Take care. Be well.